we started training in October 2010 with a 70 men squad and that was the year 2011 was the year where Neil Footy was introduced to Trinity College together with Nilfa Ibrahim and Dilip Selvam who, who were with us right throughout the season and also not forgetting our physio Moby and uh, trainer Diane uh, and also our principal and the MIC who were with us right throughout the season. Coming to the season, it, the first match was the first match was in Anthony's where we won with a close call 10 points to 7, with 3 points margin. And then we had some ups and, ups and downs in the season where we lost 3 matches and ended up 3rd in the league. Talking about the Bradby 2011, we lost the first leg in home ground with an 8 points, 8, 8 points margin. And I would say one of the reasons would have been where we, we had a very fresh side starting with because we had only three colorsmen for the season to start with. And I don't think that many of them had an exposure to play in a gallery like that. So that would have been one reason. Other reason would have been is that we couldn't counter Royal strengths. Obviously, malls are one of the key strengths of Royal. And the first leg, the first try of first leg was scored less than a minute, where they they shoved us over the line from a line out, which was five meters away. So I think preparation wise, we were not that up to the standard in first leg. And Royal played their hearts out in the first leg, where the result showed who played their hearts out. So that would have been another reason. Moving on to the second leg's preparation, it was uh, not more than mental conditioning where we had, one, had a coaching camp in Pallakale and most of the guys who played the second leg would know if I say Eden Falls, they would have some stories behind that so I don't want to talk much about, talk much about that but just saying that we, we really concentrated on the mental side because we, it, we, we had nothing to do in performance wise, we had nothing to you know, work on performance but we just had to have fresh minds to come into second leg and just play our normal game and to deliver whatever we had to deliver. Not forgetting to mention who supported us on that very special day, for that very special day which was June 11, 2011 where Trady was crowned the Brad B winners for 2011 after two years. And uh, just talking about the second leg's preparation, it was just promises and delivering whatever we are capable of. Talking about the Bradby second leg itself, coming into a match with with an eight points deficit was a challenge, big challenge for us. And building that confidence and coming out coming out of this ground was really really a big challenge for us. Let's take it live. You enjoy the 67th Bradby because this is what Sri Lanka has to offer. Go on now, take it. Good evening. What a fantastic evening this is at the Royal College Comp. Royal 8 because they bring a lot of intensity into the game and a lot of control and they'll have to break the rhythm as they come on with the pitch. Talking about the point scoring in the second leg, Rehan Birakul scored the first points on the table where he got a penalty in the right corner and he had a goal. There. And the first try was scored by Dilshan Kalyangoda which gave us a lead 10 points nil within 15 minutes. And also Mohamed Sashan, Kanye Senivaratna and Sean Foster con contributed to the final score line of 40 points to 5. Not finding the space that he wanted to, but again, that's a great defense by Mahakaratna. Coming up, taking the man out. There is a hurry to get him out. The pick to be taken by Virakun. Yes! 20 up with 3 points. And they got to find where these holes are. 20 on the move, that's Enemy Ratna. Given out. This has to be a try. 20 under the post. Trinity under the post, right. and that's fantastic work made by Trinity. Eight points to nil. Now waiting to see Trinity kicking. 
Will he get it again? Quite confident that they could win this rugby shield with their robust play. Well, you know what it is, Ben. Oh, he's over the door. He's over the door. Try time for Trinity College. Unbelievable. That There's a big skipper. Really has had an Bad. outstanding game. Bad. Leading from the front. Trinity College. And through. Off the upright. Through. My goodness. He's still got it. Here comes the pass. Fly half. Looking for gaps. Looking for numbers. That's a number eight. That's he got the left to go over. And a try. That's a try for Trinity. Keep position because that is a break for number 12. He's bought the gap, he's bought the space, he's bought the line. Oh, That's another the good try. But there's still plenty to them trying no. to keep the engines on, but they're no one here. What great ball for Trinity. Play. That little picture sells a story. This is Trinity, and that's number 11. Under is the he post, he will go. Oh, yes, he is. Try to under the post. Tremendous, it's showing what they're capable of playing, really playing the full now. field, uh, the whole width of the pitch. And this is uh, done. All amazing. done and delivered. Trinity win. The Bradby Shield after how long, Ajit? This is after three years, three years uh, only, really. And uh, it was three years ago when Milinda Gunawan was signed with 14 freshers, pulled off the Bradby with a similar win. Finally, I would like to thank the principal, vice principal, the MIC, members of the staff students, parents, old boys and also the old radius rugby scrummage who helped us to achieve whatever success that we achieved in 2011. A big word of thanks goes out to the 2011 family which is the 2011 team who helped, who were with us, who were together to achieve, as I said, whatever success that we achieved in 2011. Thank you. Fabulous.